What's up, guys? Jay? More than after kill? <laughs> and today, Gearbox 2K and Lionsgate Studio has just dropped the first official trailer for the Borderlands movie. <laughs> and yesterday, we picked apart every little inch of the 10 second teaser trailer they dropped at FanFest 2024. <laughs> Today, we're gonna be tossing on our hazmat suits and wading through this colossal Skagzilla rack hive sized pile of dog shit. <laughs> That Gearbox 2K Lionsgate Studios thought it was a good idea to dump $150 million. And we're going to be giving you my first look and impressions of the Borderlands live action movie trailer. So, immediately off the start, we can see the major story characters of the game. Roland, Krieg, Tiny Tina, Claptrap, and Tannis. And we also get to hear Jack Black's voice as Claptrap for the first time. A ladder! Unfortunately, my design doesn't facilitate this type of... And I'm not gonna lie. I, 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 I don't like it. His cadence is all wrong. And the filter barely sounds robotic at all. But at least the animation for Claptrap looks pretty decent. And we could see Kevin Hart tripping Claptrap down the hole, which I'm gonna say is pretty out of character for Roland. However, considering the casting of Kevin Hart, Everyone's worst fears about Roland are confirmed. That he's gone from the stoic leader of the Crimson Raiders to the slapstick comedy relief of the group. Which, honestly, should be Claptrap's job. Well, Destiny awaits. And here we get a cheap Destiny joke. Ha ha. We get it, guys. Destiny is another looter shooter that's done considerably better at keeping their fucking fan base alive than Gearbox has! So, yeah, may maybe you might want to, like, start looking at your own self before you start making fun of other games in the looter shooter genre. <laughs> The next scene is just a look at what could be planet Promethea with a cityscape full of towering Atlas buildings, which really gives you a feeling of just how much oppression that these corporations are putting on the people living in the city surrounding the Atlas headquarters. And for some reason, Lilith looks like Professor Snape in this movie. Oh, you do what exactly? Hit me with that fish. Legend <laughs> has it that there's this mass. If there is not a Matt Damon Elysium reference on this space station, then I, I mean, come on, seriously, guys. What are we even doing here? Some treasure hidden in some secret vault. Apparently, the treasure hidden in this vault is also located inside the Vault of Glass, which conveniently is located inside of a better performing franchise. <laughs> Lilith has a physical holster. I'm not sure if you ever realized this, but in the Borderlands games, pistols actually digestruct from a small digestruct panel on the Volt Hunter's hip. <laughs> Lilith 
also has no siren tattoos. And I, I, I know they're taking liberties with the series and they're making it its own cinematic universe, but some things like the siren tattoos should universally just carry over from the game. But I guess after blowing $150 million on the cast, that doesn't leave a lot of room for other effects now, does it? And if you go hunting... Marcus's bus looks about as rough as Lilith's voice sounds. For it, you'd better take any... I'm confused as... Why they would take Tiny Tina's models from Borderlands 2 and 3 and just kind of mash them together. Like, wouldn't a tiny psycho mask on the side of her head look a hell of a lot better than a broken pair of Astro's headband with bunny ears glued to the top of them? I don't know, that's just me. You know, cosplayers have been pulling off the Tiny Tina look for years, but... I, I I I guess the the Astro headband with the with the bunny ears is just the wave these days. <laughs> Help you can get our first real look at Krieg, and I I I, I gotta admit, Florian is pulling off the body build real well, but the cheapo mask and dollar store cosplay accessories just really aren't selling Creed to me. His cheap vacuum molded plastic mask and lack of eye patches really just giving off random bandit vibes and not ultimate badass Creed Volt Hunter vibes. A rack eats a skag. And that's probably the most faithful thing that we've seen in the trailer thus far. Because it's on the weirdest... And I, I know Krom is supposed to be in this movie as a bad guy, but th this is Mouthpiece's design. And consider it... <laughs> That many players in Borderlands 3 abandoned the game because they couldn't get past Mouthpiece. It shows you that the highest concentration of people kind of quitting the game is between levels 5 to 10. So specifically, like levels 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Um, which correlates to the Mouthpiece Promethea. I'm hoping that they didn't redesign Krom into Mouthpiece just for the newer generation that never played Borderlands 1, but holy shit! <laughs> Not only does Mouthpiece's mask look absolutely terrible, but look look at this Goliath in the back. It looks like they just took a fucking box and spray painted it silver and put it on a You're Goliath now! <laughs> also, I, I, I want to know why Atlas soldiers are lined up in the ranks with bandits and psychos. Like, bandits and psychos don't usually have the wherewithal to know, like, oh, we're working with the fucking soldiers, so we should just be... Because remember, there was a whole bit in Borderlands 3 where it's like, what are we not going to do? Kill the Malawak guys! And they're like, wait, no, 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 wait. We're not killing the Malawak guys. It, it just... <laughs> I, I, I don't know, it seems like a pretty questionable decision there. Most dangerous. Bruh! What the fuck are Stingrays doing on Pandora? Them motherfuckers are supposed to be on Elpis. And I saw Scooter and Ellie listed in the casting. Nowhere did I see any Moon Zoomies or Janie Springs. Also... How the hell would these stingrays even work without the lower gravity on Elpis? Also, Minecraft Easter egg. Dumpster fire of a world in the universe. It's funny that they use the actual words dumpster fire in the trailer. Because those are the same exact words that I used to describe this movie in yesterday's video. God, I hate this planet. What is that smell? Apparently, Pisswash Gully from Borderlands 1 
is named for Thresher Piss and not Skag Piss, e even though Threshers didn't show up un until B Borderlands 2, but sure, why not? Piss Squash Gully. Ew! Put the window up. I don't want to! Roll the window what? up! Roll the window up! It's Pete. It's Pete. Why do you think it's called Piss Wash? How did it get the name? It's in my mouth! And now you wonder why everyone was worried about Kevin Hart playing Roland. This isn't Roland. This is just Kevin Hart. For some reason wearing Jill Valentine's costume, calling himself Roland. But it's still just Kevin Hart being Kevin Hart. And in 2024, everyone is tired of Kevin Hart doing Kevin Hart things. I'm not sure why they're wearing digital customizations, but I'm guessing they were included and unlocked in the battle pass. <laughs> Marcus! And his vending machines look absolutely horrendous. However, if you look inside the vending machine, you can see that there's a Borderlands 3 weapon card with a free radical being the item of the day. And it's like I said earlier, it seems like that this movie is a, is a mismatch of all three Borderlands games rolled into a movie and not in a great way. It, it, it's given me very distinct memories of the Super Mario Brother movies from the late 80s and early 90s with John Leguizamo and Bob Haskins. The vehicles in general just look awful. Many people have died. Um, is, is, is that? Is that Mecha International Planetary Assassin Claptrap shooting rockets at Lilith? If, if that's Minak, then at some point in this movie, Claptrap has to become evil, right? Even though she's old as fuck, I would still motorboat the shit out of Jamie Lee Curtis right here. Here we get to see our first look at Edgar Ramirez as the founder, owner, and CEO of Atlas Corporation. Simply named Atlas. I mean, we've been asking for flamethrowers in Borderlands forever, but sure, just go ahead and use one here in the movie. We won't mind. Sure does look fun to use a flamethrower on Pandora, doesn't it, guys? Too bad we can't. Borderlands 3 Weapon Models. Time to make it rain with your body parts. Okay, that does not look like Minak now that we see it. It honestly just looks like one of the doll diggers from Caustic Caverns, but I'm guessing since most diggers are already painted yellow, it was probably easier for them to slap a Hyperion logo on it rather than change the entire color of the digger or do it in post-processing and waste money in the budget. I don't like it, but I understand it. Time to make it rain with your body parts. Yeah, I'm... I'm just not feeling Tiny Tina here. Now, no, no, don't get me wrong. Ariana Greenblatt is a great actress, but she can only do so much with the lines that they've written for her. And while she delivers them well, I'm just not really feeling Tiny Tina here. Personally, she's given me more Ava vibes than Tiny Tina, but... We'll see what the uh, general consensus of the public feels about that. Finally, we get to see the gender-swapped Commander Knox. And you can tell that she's the gender-swapped villain by the trigger me bangs and shaved side of her head. Ooh, mine's bigger. Lilith displays her ability to make the Firehawk logo in the sky without needing to yeet herself directly into the moon to do so. All right, that, that's it. Fuck it. I'm, I'm done here. Pack it up. There is nothing more to see. This is just a fucking abomination. 
If you pay to see this garbage, then you either have way more money than you need, or you just need to have your fucking head checked. Because mark my words, this is going to go down in history as one of the biggest cinematic video game blunders of all time. And I, 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 I knew it was going to be bad, but... God damn, this, this, I, I don't know, man, like, if I was on my deathbed, and my last wish was to see the Borderlands movie before I died, and I, I just saw that trailer, I, I'm, fuck it, man, I'm just gonna throw myself out of the bed and pull the plug myself, just kill me, let me go, cause I, 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 I don't, I don't wanna live on this planet anymore <laughs> so my name is jay more than after kill i want to thank you guys for watching make sure you guys rate comment subscribe if you really thumb up on a video i'd highly appreciate it because it gives me motivation to make more videos for y'all motherfuckers that watch my motherfucking videos and yeah i this 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 exists and it costs a hundred and fifty million fucking dollars. Randy! What? If you were gonna spend a hundred and fifty million dollars, you could have just gave it away and it would have been a better, <laughs> a better financial decision than tossing a hundred and fifty million dollars at whatever the fuck this is. <laughs> Cause this, this, this is not Borderlands, and nobody asked for this movie. But I, I guess this is this is this is what happens when you let Gearbox do whatever the fuck Gearbox is gonna do without kicking them in the ass for a few years. Because then they just get the confidence to think, you know what, guys. We should, we should make a Borderlands movie. Good idea. Let's make a Borderlands movie. No. Not one person ever playing Borderlands was like, this would make a damn good movie. No. Or at least make it a fucking animated movie. I don't understand why it's got to be live action with a $150 million cast. It's absolutely retarded. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. My name's Jay. More than Afterkill. Thanks for watching. And I'm going to see y'all motherfuckers later.